when you find yourself in danger, when you're threatened by a stranger, when it looks like you will take a licking, <laughs> there is someone waiting who will hurry up and rescue you. Just call for super chicken. But if you're afraid, you'll have to overlook it. Besides, you knew the job was dangerous when you took it. <laughs> he will drink his super sauce and throw the bad guys for a loss, and he will bring them in alive and kicking. <laughs> there is one thing you should learn when there is no one else to turn to. Call for super chicken. Call for super chicken. Oh, if only you had been with us five minutes ago, you would have seen the worst crime in history. As it is, you are only watching the police trying to catch the criminal. There are no clues as to who took the priceless art treasure, the Maltese duck. What kind of a fiend would steal a statue of a duck? Ah, this kind of fiend. Yes, it was I, I, the fat man. And now the duck is mine, mine. And may I say, sir, as a criminal, uh, you are just Marvy. Thank you, Shingroos. <laughs> uh, you thought of everything, sir. Yes, I even thought of Super Chicken. Super Chicken, sir? Yes, he is the one chicken who could get my duck. <laughs> but I'll be ready for him when he comes. <laughs> and that would be soon indeed. For the mighty chicken was on the case at that very moment. You think that the fat man stole the Maltese duck, Super Chicken? I'm positive, Fred. How do you know? I found these at the scene of the crime. What are they? Fifty-six candy bar wrappers. So? So we know it wasn't the thin man. Over the fat man's estate, Super Chicken made his first move. Hang on, Fred. I'm going to land on the roof. But the eager chicken overshot his landing and... Oh, Super Chicken. At last, we meet. Right, fat man. And you're under arrest for stealing the Maltese duck. Never. Though his hat and cape were shot to shreds, the bullets merely bounced off of Super Chicken's super body. If you really want to get him, you got to use a bigger gun, sir. At least 50 caliber. Please, Fred. Let him figure these things out for himself. But before Super Chicken could make his next move, the fat man grabbed the Maltese duck and escaped to the second floor. After him, Fred. They headed up the stairs and came to a large door at the top. Are you in there, fat man? No. Darn. If he's not in there, where could he be, Super Chicken? Hmm, let me think. If we go inside, we can sit down and think. Good idea. Opening the door, they found themselves face to face with a fat man and a fat cannon. Fat man, I thought you said you weren't in here. I detest the fibber. Never mind that. Goodbye, Super Chicken. Goodbye? He's not going anywhere. Huh? Watch. I guess he is at that. Bye, Super Chicken! The cannonball carried Super Chicken across town and into the bus terminal. Thirty minutes later, he was back at the fat man's estate. Where's the fat man, Fred? He got away in his jet plane. What kept you? The crosstown traffic is fierce at this hour. After him! A short time later, the fat man landed his jet on mysterious Voodoo Island in the Caribbean. He went directly to a friendly neighborhood black magic store. Give me a super chicken voodoo doll. You want me to wrap it up, or do you want to stick pins in it right here? Oh, brilliant, sir. Yes, anything that happens to this doll happens to super chicken. <laughs> Here he comes now. <laughs> Watch this. Super chicken, what happened? I could have sworn I was stuck with a pin. It worked, sir. Of course it did. Now watch this. <laughs> Super chicken, watch where you're driving. I can't, Fred. There's something in my eye. Hopelessly out of control, the Super Coop dived for the ground and crashed into a palm tree. So, fat man, we meet again. Yes, but for the last time. Farewell. Ow! Oh, wait a minute. Let me see you do that again. Gladly. I just don't understand how that works. I think I do, Fred. Let me try something. Ow! Did that hurt you, fat man? What do you think, ma? Why don't you ask me? All right. Did that hurt the fat man, Fred? How would you like a punch in the beak? I've got it. That is a super chicken voodoo doll. Well, fat man, too, can do voodoo. You two do voodoo. I'm starting my vacation. Racing through the jungle, super chicken went to the nearest black magic store. Quick, give me a fat man voodoo doll. Right. Can I sell you a box of pins? No, I've got bigger plans than that. Taking the fat man doll, super chicken returned through the jungle. Two can play at that game, fat man. Take this. Ouch. Take this yourself. Oh, you want to play rough, eh? Anything you say, Super Chicken. With that, the two opponents flailed away at each other's dolls. 
2,000 miles we traveled so he can play with dollies. But finally, the mighty bird unloosed his famous under over uppercut. No fair, I'm on vacation. The mighty chicken had done it again, and he headed for home to return the precious Maltese duck and place the fat man in a thin jail. Another uh, super chicken voodoo doll, sir? No, they were out of super chickens, so I got a thread doll. <laughs> Just a little something to pass the time on the flight home. So, when you hear that cry in the sky... Ow! You'll know it's Super Chicken saying... You knew the job was dangerous when you took it, Fred. Yes, yes, I get the point. Yow! Yeah!